Hi guys, um, here's the next part of Bella's Lullaby tutorial, I think it's part 6, um, so we'll get straight into it. Now I think where we left it last time was where the right hand sounds a bit like this, I'll just play the few bars so you can orientate yourselves. where we finish that bar or we'll go from that bar Sorry. and in the left hand you finished on an E and a G so that last bar that we're going to go from is so the next bit after you've played that in the right hand you play A a, G, E, E, D, B, A. Again. Play that again slower. And in the bass hand, the left hand, you're going to play F, A, and C. An F major chord, and then, well actually, D, G. So you go from F, A, C, to a D, and a G. I know it's difficult to see on this recorder, but um, you can just about see it, I think. And that starts it off, so you play... So that's two beats each. The bass hand starts the chord and you play I'll just play that one bar because the A is actually the start of the next bar so this bar slowly is I'll play that again slowly so you're going from an F major chord to a D and a G in the bass hand and you're playing actually leave out the A, so you're playing just that, we'll play it one more time and that goes straight into an A in the right hand for four beats for a whole bar, so it sounds like one, two, three, four in the bass hand if you can reach, play a D with your little finger, an A, and a D. If you can't reach the octave, then just play an A and a D above, or a D and an A with a D underneath. It's up to you. And the rhythm is the same as we've had earlier in the pieces, just... So that bar just literally sounds like this. Put those two bars together. And I'll play that slowly one more time before we move on. And the next bar, again, this is with two fingers in the right hand, so you can always, if you just want to play the top notes, then your top notes. I'll play them an octave lower for this bit again because it just goes out of range of the camera. So this will be an octave higher, so when I'm playing this you're actually going to be playing up there. But the top note, if you're just playing one note, you play E, E, G, G. Let's find this out. E, E, G, G, B, B, D, D. Which is what you've played just a few bars earlier in the piece, so you literally play... play that again if you're playing two notes this is again an octave lower remember play a G and an E twice 
then a B and a G twice, then a D and a B twice, and then an F sharp and a D twice. So it will sound and I'll play that in range although it will probably go out of range but you'll um, hear what it sounds like in the right octave sorry okay so as you're playing that your bass hand is playing a G and a C and then an E and a G that and that's again that's two beats each so you play I'll play it in the right octave for now sorry play that again and you change from C and G to E and B, the second time you play either just a G on its own or a G and a B on its own. So, sorry. Like that. When you get to the second time you play, either D on its own if you're only playing one note or this is again an octave lower, remember? The last double F and D that you play is for four beats. So in your bass hand you've just played C and a G and then an E and a B. When you go to play that F sharp and D, or just D if you're playing one note, you play an A, a D, and an F sharp, which is the same rhythm as we've just had with A, D, and A. So you literally play, let's see if we can do this in the right octave, although it will go off of the keys. As we move on in the right hand, then what you play after you've held that four beats. This is again, this is two notes each. So I'm going to play it an octave lower than it should be played because otherwise it will go off and you won't be able to see the keys. You play a C and an A. Actually, this is two octaves lower. No, let's do one octave lower. C and an A, you play that twice. And then B and a G once. And then you play. Let's work this out. Yep, you play. Sorry, a C and an A twice. B and a G once. G and E once and then play it twice more this is what it's going to sound like now I'm running out of the 10 minute limit so I'm going to stop this now and we'll go on to that next bit I just want to spend a bit longer on what we've just played because it can be a bit tricky to learn um, and I'll do the next tutorial for the next few bars and we're nearly finished thank you for watching